Mix mornings. From the Rooney Moon Broadcasting Local News Center, I'm Kelsey Lorenz with your news as it happens. A man who was pulled over and arrested for driving drunk got in even more trouble after he made the arresting officer a special offer. KRQE TV reports in late August, a state police officer pulled over a car in Clovis for expired registration, but the officer noticed something was different with the 52 year old Jesus Yaraib. After telling the officer that the reason for his red eyes was because he was working overnights, the officer believed there was proof he'd been drinking. Two different officers tried to get Yaraib to do field sobriety tests, but he claimed he couldn't understand them. A bilingual officer then showed up. The officer arrested Yaraib and in the car to the hospital, he offered the officer a bribe of $500. After denying the request several times, the officer wrote in his report that Yaraib tried to up the ante and made a final offer for $1,000. Yaraib was charged with a DWI and trying to bribe an officer. A 51-year-old woman who had been reported missing from El Paso since July was found recently with family. Edna Rojo left the State Supported Living Center on July 23rd, and El Paso police have been searching for her ever since. On Thursday, police sent out an alert canceling the lookout after she was found in Clovis with a family member. Yesterday, New Mexico Attorney General Hector Balderas, in coordination with 7th Judicial District Attorney Clint Wellborn, 9th Judicial District Attorney Andrea Reeb, Curry County Sheriff's Office, Roosevelt County Sheriff's Office, Socorro County Sheriff's Office, Region 5 Drug Task Force, Region 4 Probation and Parole, Portales Police Department, and Clovis Police Department conducted Phase 1 of Operation Still Net. This operation was a coordinated law enforcement effort to find and arrest violent offenders with outstanding warrants in rural and urban communities in Curry County, Roosevelt County, and Socorro County. This operation is a result of months' worth of intelligence gathering, analysis, and coordination with local law enforcement to execute Operation Stillnet on September 4th and 5th. This operation resulted in 23 successful arrests of violent criminals wanted by the court. Three water projects in New Mexico will benefit from federal grant funding. The Bureau of Reclamation says the project will share more than $120,000 being distributed as a part of the Water Smart program. Reclamation Commissioner Brenda Bierman says the cost-shared funding provides an opportunity for utilities and tribes to invest in using their water more efficiently. The Fort Sumner Irrigation District will receive nearly $25,000 for telemetry equipment to monitor real-time flow data. The Ponderosa Mutual Domestic Water Consumer Association in northern New Mexico will receive $25,000 to replace 202 mechanical water meters with new sonic meters. A New Mexico sheriff says he won't enforce red flag gun laws if they are passed this coming spring. San Juan County Sheriff Shane Ferrari made those comments on behalf of the New Mexico Sheriff's Association. In an email to the governor, Ferrari said current laws address people considered a risk. Under the proposed legislation, law enforcement could get a court order to remove weapons from dangerous people. Ferrari says there needs to be due process of a hearing. The Eastern New Mexico Board of Regents will meet tomorrow for a work session. They are likely to discuss expanded alcohol sales at special events and facility rentals. State health officials say they are investigating six cases of the mumps in Bernalillo County. Mumps is a highly contagious disease that is typically preventable through vaccination. It is spread through the air and by droplets of saliva or mucus from the mouth, nose, or throat of an infected person, usually when the person coughs or sneezes. The virus can be spread through shared use of drinks, cups, or eating utensils. Health officials say people exposed to mumps could become ill 12 to 25 days later. For more news as it happens, click yournewsnewmexico.com.